Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tom here, joined by Michael Magus. And today is a very exciting day. Since we first installed this game, I have been looking forward to stepping onto a broom and learning how to fly. And today is finally that day. Our quest is to go to our first flying class. I wonder if I'm going to have to buy my own broom. I don't think I can afford a Nimbus. Do they have hand-me-downs that they just hand out to students? I don't know how any of this is going to work. I think this will be a pretty fun episode. After we unlock this, exploring the countryside is going to be so very easy. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And let's get things underway. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Put that Sorry, down. Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Wow, that was a very warm welcome. Let's remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Oh, you're a natural. Thank you. <laughs> now, your turn. Maybe that's why it's built on respect. Up, you stupid ratty school. Come on, Michael. Command the broom, Michael. Yes. Oh, yes, dude. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. Right. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. I like the way this lady teaches. Everyone seems to have gotten pretty comfortable and pretty if fast. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Roger that. It's like a lifeguard. Just looking out for us. Good. Okay. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. <laughs> no, the no. Brooms are I'm not doing that. I want them returned in one piece. How high up will it let me go? I'm sure there's got to be some restrictions. They usually keep you pretty close to your quest givers. But this, of course, has to be the first thing you try. And it looks like I'm tapping out right about here. So on keyboard, it's space bar to go up, control to go down. And uh, I don't have too many other controls just yet. I don't have a sprint or anything. Well, they're calling back to the great days of Superman on Nintendo 64. I have been tasked with flying through these rings. Michael Magus has stepped up to every other challenge. <laughs> I hope I can conquer this one too. Although, it is this kind of weird. Some getting used to. It kind of uh, had I invisible had walls own. on the side of it or something. Yes! Good and lean. Easy does it. No need to be in a rush. Slow and steady. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay, if you think I'm ready, this I, I mean, I've literally been doing this two minutes, but you're the experienced one. I trust your judgment. We'll take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Okay. Here we go. Holding sprints is going to make us go a little faster. What a view. I kind of thought it would be kicking off a little bit more than this, though, to be honest. Also, another thing that would be really nice Good. is if this. on mouse and keyboard, if I could go up and down right now with mouse movements, it's just keyboard movements that I have here. But that's OK. We're adjusting, heading down towards the water. This guy's sitting still. Just waiting for me to catch up. There we go. I also wish I could look up and down a little bit more while I'm on the broom. Perhaps my field of view is a bit more locked just while we're doing these challenges. Oh, these rocks look so cool. Okay, I'm going to keep up with this. It looks like we're going to do a full lap 
around the castle. This is such a cool way of getting around. Wait a minute, there's a Kraken! Just a totally normal lake Kraken. This is rather fun. I wonder if I'm going to be able to get upgrades to, to fly even faster. This is a pretty docile speed. Although it does feel like I have just picked up the broom for the first time. It feels like I'm kind of drifting a little bit. I can't quite get the angle right. So all of our other school activities get better over time. I'm sure this will too. Have a moment? Have a moment? I'm... No, actually. I see. Hey, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. Thanks. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Well, but you... I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Michael Magus. I'm suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high flying fun. Yes, absolutely. I am absolutely looking for high flying fun. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. <laughs> the, the tour is about to begin. The teacher said Follow to bring now. these brooms back in one piece. Right I don't know if we could promise the that. Courtyard. Lovely as ever. Yes, we go through here all of the time. Isn't having tea by the window today. Oh, this guy really moves. Look at him go. Are you going to go under the bridge? Oh, this is the main courtyard Don't in the great hall on our right. Yes, this is what we should have been doing the entire time. <laughs> Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Those are what the hobbit holes are. How is Everett flying so quickly? How is he flying so quickly? It's, uh, I mean, I just Here's something handy to know. went a little wide, Move Michael. Move forward for a burst of speed. Move forward for a burst of speed. Situation. Uh, left click for a boost of speed. Uh -huh. Now that's more like it. Hey, there we go. Sure you're not part hippogriff. Okay, it does have a meter, though. We're not going to be able to move at that speed all of the time. There's the famous bridge. Let's go under it. All the magic holding it up. I mean... You got to go under it. <laughs> and the owl. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? <laughs> Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. This is actually so cool. There's the Quidditch pitch on our right. Doesn't look like we're heading over to that instead circling around this That's tower. This concludes our tour. Oh, she's probably pissed. Let's hurry back. Yeah, heading back now. Full speed as well. I like that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Oh, can I buy one? Dismount here. How do I dismount? Hold B. Okay. Sorry. Land your kiss. And where have you two been? Uh, flying? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Yes. 50 points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Oh. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough class is finished for the day you know as for you you do well to use better judgment in the future yes ma'am chin up that was some rather good flying oh oh you saw that huh okay if i keep doing these things off the books that i shouldn't be doing sorry about that business with kagawa but you have to admit those views were worth it Bro, they were. I'm worried if I keep doing these uh, these things I shouldn't, that we're really going to start to hurt the Hufflepuff house. I would hate for Michael Magus to be the reason that we don't win at the end of the school year. I wish I had, we hadn't gotten in trouble. We should be able to fly like that all the time. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. 
Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitches in Hogsmeade. Oh, in it's Hogsmeade. Test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Oh, dude, thanks for the hot tip. I have been going to Hogsmeade and selling a lot of our excess gear, so there is a chance that we have enough for at least a baseline model. We also just hit level 16, and funny enough, level 16 was what we needed to be for some of these new talent points that we unlocked in the last episode. For instance, we can make our stealth even better here. Uh, we're almost done with all of those stealth talents, actually. I figured since I have been a little mischievous in Hogwarts, we have been sneaking around in secret corridors and, you know, helping ourselves to a few chests around town. Being better at stealth couldn't hurt. Nature. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Sebastian? I know a place near there. Knows illicit spells? Why do I get the feeling he's talking about, like, the Cruciatus curse and stuff like that? Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Bro, this is so cool. It sounds like the game is really opening up from here. I'm really looking forward to that. We've been sticking to the northern part of the map pretty well. We've been exploring it and, of course, going back and forth between here and Hogsmeade. But that southern strip has so much to see. So much we don't know. Well, sold off all of our extra gear again, and I have to say, I think Michael Dapper Magus is looking pretty good. Hogsmeade's not ready for me, dude. Well, the Quidditch place is actually very close by. On the left, we see Ollivanders up ahead, then the three broomsticks in the center of the street. And unless I'm mistaken, this would be... Yes, indeed. The quality Quidditch supplies this red building on the right. I don't see... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I don't see a Nimbus in the window. Of course, it's not actually a Nimbus. This is way before then. But they are still showing off those brooms in that display with pride. So, we've never met this guy. I believe it was closed last time we were here. Wonderful. He said a new face. Wonderful. Well, hello! I want your finest broom. Oh, I meant to show you guys. Um, I do have this piece of gear. I haven't seen anything like this before. It's an unidentified back item, and I have to find the room of requirement to figure out what this thing actually is. Very, very intriguing, I have to say. But we have 6,000 gold to spend. I hope that's enough to get something pretty good in here. I haven't really bought anything else, uh, but we are still pretty early in the game. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Ah, uh, yeah. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? You would be right. There are a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. I wonder if they all fly a little differently. Uh, what else can you share about brooms? I would love to learn more. I know very, very little. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Ooh. Then you have the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Well, this guy seems like he really has a passion for his work. That is awesome to see. You did say your trade woots were disrupted, was there trouble? I've seen poachers. Are they stealing from you too? You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking yeah. roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. 
Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Roger that. He seems like he's trying to get back to what he was doing, so... Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Okay, I'm nervous. 600 for an ember dash. You can preview oh, the broom. The it even has a flame tail. Okay, so that was the Ember Dash. This is the Hogwarts House Broom. That item is of the highest quality. These are all 600 gold. The Moon Trimmer Broom. Comes with little satchels and a light on the front. I love that. that. Item is of the highest quality. The other ones have bells and ribbons on the front. This is a Wind Wisp. I like the way that looks as well. Very sleek. That item is of the highest quality. And then this is the U Weaver broom. I think I'm going to buy the U Weaver broom for a couple of reasons. It says it's comfortable and speedy, first of all. Now, I don't know if that's just vanity text or if it actually matters, if it means any different. But because Michael Magus is a detective, he's stealthy. I don't want to be seen. This has quality. fire on the end of it. This has a light on the front. This has a light on the front. So let's go with something a bit more subtle. I am so glad that was so cheap. I'm so glad. So can I upgrade these bad boys? Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. Okay. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I'm definitely down to give it a try. I will point out that you were bragging about your flying skills earlier, and I've only been flying for, well, however long this episode is so far. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. You know, I was wondering what they were going to do with the Quidditch pitch. Be sure to let me know. I just took 43 gold out of that chest right there. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's the view I was trying to get. Beautiful. Well, we have finally arrived. First time being inside. The Quidditch pitch looks pretty green. They're taking very good care of this. Looks like our new friend is setting up shop on the southern side. Hey, you, Hufflepuff. Hey, I know how to land. <laughs> I, <laughs> I definitely remember how to land. Hello, how are you? I heard about your little operation here. I'm dying to know more. Across Amelda Rays, Albie Week sent me. Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. He sure is. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Imagine I getting criticism. His broom testing silliness. You've barely started flying, from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Well, you sound very unpleasant. I wasn't trying to show off. I was learning. This is a school after all. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think your competition. Ugh, 
I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. Oh, Michael! Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Well, it's official now. We may have met our rival. What sort of courses are these? Michael, that doesn't matter. The gauntlet has been laid down, Michael. Get in there. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Now, here's the problem. I probably am going to lose. And then she's going to be so smug about it. Okay, so I should just hold down right away. Get a little boost of speed. Oh, these have smaller Success. rings up ahead. Or are these... Is this for stamina? Oh, I believe it is. Oh, that's more like it. Okay. So, um, I suck a lot at this. This... Oh, <laughs> no. These controls are so bad. Bro, I might have to bust out the controller for this one. Okay, I'm getting a little rhythm now. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. There's a lot of rings to go and not a lot of time for me to get to them. But we are starting to get into a bit of a rhythm now. I mean, I am a novice at this after all. We should be a little patient with ourselves. Changing elevations is proving very difficult. I think one thing I was doing was actually holding down sprint the entire time, but it's like a toggled mode. You either are sprinting or you are not. There's a minute left on the clock. We've smoothed out and this might actually be a race now. In fact, with only four rings remaining, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? Michael Magus had a bad start, but it's looking like it's gonna be a strong finish as we beat her record. That wasn't too bad. I did miss a ring in there. I got off course a little bit there. That's, I'll, I'll admit that. Uh, that's not, you, you must have cheated you. Oh, fine, you won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely I'm, my win yeah. means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Well, I don't want your respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, whatever. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albi Weeks. You know, a lot of people were making fun of uh, WoW's dragon flying that they added in the new expansion. But y you got to admit, it's a lot more fluid than this. I the fact that my mouse controls can't adjust my trajectory at all, and it's all done with keyboard, feels so clunky. It's a little difficult to complain about that view, though, isn't it? You keep winning me over again, Hogwarts. You keep doing it. Well, getting back to Hogsmeade in style feels pretty good. But they do have a bit of a bubble around it that stops you from flying directly into town. And I can't even land because I'm too close to it. There we go. Perfect. Let's report in with our findings. Uh, we'll let him know how that race went, and then maybe the call team. it a day. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Yes, it was unmanageable at times, for sure. <laughs> I was able to set a record on my broom. He's Don't tell him that. He's going to think it's good. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well true. enough. True. All of that was true. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? 
I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Do you have a lot of doubters, my dude? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. Yeah, tinkering's My fun. Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. How dare they? And where they? would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick could let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Well, my dude, it was awesome to meet you. I love your little shop here. If you can make my broom better, please be sure to let me know and I'll come back right away. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Well, I guess the only thing to do now is to take this bad boy out and fly as far to the south as I can go. I waited until morning just so we could get the best view of the terrain as possible. This is gorgeous. Now we're not breaking any land speed records or anything, but it would nice to be it'd be nice to be able to see the entire map and to be able to fast travel great distances. And you know, even though it's a little clunky, it's still pretty fun to do this, dude. Revelio. Oh! Bro, as you're flying around, you can actually cast Revelio to see icons for every location. So that leaf right there is a puzzle. There's dungeons in the back. Over on the left side, we're seeing more dungeons that we could explore. This is going to make it so easy to spot extra activities for us to do. Bro, it looks like there's actually a castle to the east of me here. <laughs> I believe under us right now is that town we ran to just to have the fast travel unlocked previously. Yeah, we're flying over the fast travel right now. So this is officially as far as I have been away from home uncharted territory Rebellion. can i easily spot blue flames i don't have with this might have to actually check the map for that it shows me ones i've already captured but i'm not seeing any unclaimed ones and they're not that uncommon i feel like i feel like we'd be spotting them oh it's getting pretty swampy getting pretty dark i'm gonna go up into the air a little bit can I break these balloons? Oh, <laughs> I sure can. I don't know what that did for me, though. Oh, okay. We may have hit the invisible wall. Is this the edge of the map? Yes, it looks like I might need to go a little further south. Or perhaps, perhaps I need to uh, actually travel through these areas with the flu flame. Maybe it's like bound to a quest or something. It does say a coastal cavern is the way you get across convenient that there's just a bubble that blocks that entrance isn't it there are some enemies on the road underneath me i wonder what level they are okay. oh hey little guy oh level 16 this is totally doable we can break that shield no problem no! get over here Oh, did he pick up his sword that I knocked out of his hands? I think he did. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video. You've Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I'm sure I will master flight in no time. It's going to be looking smooth as silk soon. Take care, guys. I'll see you again very soon. Although the path is going to open it up more. Maybe this is the way. Oh, yeah. It looks like... Oh, God, I didn't mean to fly through this. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Looks like we'll be traveling through this on foot in the future. I I'm definitely not going to be doing this now.